Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You probably already know that there is a new tool in Photoshop. It's called the Adjustment Brush. When this tool was in beta, I did a video on it then, but that was more of an overview video. Now that the tool has been officially released and is in the current version of Photoshop, I'd like to do a more thorough review and demonstration of the tool. Now, as you can see, I have an image opened up into Photoshop. And let's say I want to use this new tool, the Adjustment Brush tool. The keyboard shortcut for the Adjustment Brush tool is the B key. B is in boy. But if you go over this tool well and you long press with left mouse button on the little brush icon, you'll notice that there are a bunch of different brushes that all share that same B keyboard shortcut. Just go over there and make sure that you choose the Adjustment Brush tool. Now, if you don't see the Adjustment Brush tool in your tool well, what you could do is go up to Edit and then down to Toolbar. And you could do one of two things. You could just click on Restore Defaults. If you do that, it will put the Adjustment Brush tool in the little nested set of brushes that I have on mine. If, though, you have your Toolbar set up in a custom way and you don't want to restore the defaults, you don't want to mess up your custom layout of your toolbar, that adjustment brush tool will be sitting over here in extra tools. And what you could do is you could just click on it over here and drag it over to where you want it. Now you'll probably want it with the other brushes. So just scroll down to where the brushes are and just drag it from extra tools and just drop it where you want it over here. By the way, if you don't want something over here, you could just drag it and put it back over into extra tools. So that is the other way you could get it to show up there. Now, once you have the Adjustment Brush tool selected, what you can do is go up here to the Adjustments, and these this drop-down are all the different adjustments you could do with the Adjustment Brush tool. Now, let's just say I want to do Hue and Saturation. Some other settings, you're going to either add the adjustment or remove the adjustment. You have your brush settings here. You could add some hardness, or remove hardness, affect the size, choose this exact brush you want to use, and so on. And you have uh, whether you want 100% uh, opacity and 100% flow, which I'm going to use on this little bird. I want to add some hue saturation to the little bird. Another way to resize the brush is with the bracket keys. Left bracket key makes it smaller, right bracket key larger. And by the way, on my website, anthonymorganti.com, I have a full list of all the keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop. It's a PDF that you could download for free and print at home. I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. So once you have the brush, you'll notice over at the Layers panel, there's nothing there yet. But as soon as I click once with the brush, you'll notice it adds the Use Saturation Adjustment layer with a black mask. Black mask will not apply any adjustments to anywhere that is black, only where there's white. So you'll use this brush now to paint in the adjustment. And I'm just going to go around the outside of the bird like this. You can see how it's getting more saturated as I go around the outside of the bird. Now, if you want to actually see the mask, you could look over here, but you also could hold in the Alt Option key. Alt if you have a PC option, if you have a Mac, and click right on that mask. And then you'll see the actual mask. And then maybe then, you know, once I paint it around the outside of the little bird, I could come in and paint like this. And then I could hold that Alt Option key in again and click on the mask again. And then I'll see my adjustment. Now you can see it's my adjustment. Now, let's say you want to add let's say contrast to the bird. So you want to add another adjustment brush. What you could do is just go to this drop down and go to brightness contrast. And again, it won't add anything over here until you click once where you want to add the adjustment. So I'm going to click right in the middle of the bird and you can see it added the adjustment. Now, instead of painting in the adjustment again, I just did with the brightness or with the U saturation adjustment layer, so what I could do is I could copy the mask from it to the brightness contrast adjustment layer. To do that, click on the mask you want to copy, hold in the Alt Option key. Again, Alt if you have PC option, if you have Mac, and just drag it to where you want it copied to. Let go. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace that layer mask? Yes. And now you could see that it replaced the layer mask. And if I click on it and then actually do the right adjustment, and there you go. Now, that is like the easiest way to use it, but it's really not the best way to use it. Let me show you another way. Let's get rid of both those. Now, 
let's just say that you're like on the move tool, right? You're just doing some other stuff and you decided you want to increase the saturation of the little bird. If you look at the contextual taskbar, that's this little bar right here. You'll notice that there's an option, select subject. And by the way, if you don't see the contextual taskbar, go to the window menu and at the bottom, make sure there's a little check mark next to it. Then what you could do is just click select subject. Obviously you need a strong subject in the image for it to know what you want selected. In this case, of course, the little bird is a strong subject for this photo. So I'll click on select subject. It will take a second, but it will find the little bird and, mar and select it. You can see the little marching ants going around it. Once you have that selection there, you can refine it if you want to with any of the other selection tools. Or if you're ready to uh, apply the adjustment brush, go to the adjustment brush, go to the top here and pick the actual adjustment you want, in this case, use saturation. And then when you have your little brush, just click one time inside of those marching ants. And you'll notice that it put the mask in perfectly. And then you could come in and do it. And then if you want to add the contrast, you could do that. Brightness contrast, click once inside the little bird, copy your mask from the saturation, use saturation adjustment layer to the brightness contrast adjustment layer by holding in that alt option key and just dragging it and then say yes. And then you did that as well. So that's another way to do it. And to tell you the truth, that might not be the best way either. Let's show you another way. So I'm getting rid of both of those. Now, let's say you're on the move tool and you decide you want to add this uh, saturation to the little bird. What you could do is go to this contextual taskbar first of all. I'll bring it up here so you could see it. Go to the adjustment brush tool, right? And of course it repositions this. And you'll notice that the adjustments that are up here in this drop down are now on the contextual taskbar right here. So what you could do is pick the adjustment you want to use. Again, I want to use hue saturation and click on apply to object. When you do that, what you could then do is take this little cursor that's now like a plus sign and you could just hover over things. And if it recognizes the object as a thing that you might want to add the adjustment to, in this case, it recognizes the bird as an object. You'll notice you get this kind of weird mask over it. Just click on it now and you applied the adjustment with a perfect mask. And again, you could do the same thing. Go to this contextual taskbar. Let me move it up here again. You could add a new adjustment right here, and I want to add brightness contrast, just like that. Now it's a blank mask, so I apply to an object, and then I hover over the little bird and click again, and there it applied it that way. Now, that is probably the best way to do it, as long as you have an object in the image that Photoshop could readily find. But, what if you have an object in the image that Photoshop can't readily find? For example, there's a little chunk of wood here. Let's just say that I want to add an adjustment to it for the sake of argument. Let's bring this contextual taskbar up here again. So I'm going to leave the two adjustment layers on the little bird. I'm leaving them there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new adjustment. And let's say for this one, I want to add exposure. Okay. Now I'm going to apply to an object. Now I don't want to apply it to a little bird. I'm going to come over here and you'll notice if I hover over that little chunk of wood that's sticking up, it doesn't recognize it as an object. But this is the object selection tool, which actually is available in the tool well. What you could do here is then just draw like a rectangle over what you want selected, let go, and you'll get a selection there. And look, it did it. See how it selected that? So that's how you could select something that isn't like a discernible object, like the little bird is. So you could come in and then if you want to readjust anything, like I have the saturation way too high on the little bird, I go to that hue saturation adjustment layer, just click on it, double click on it. I'll get the um, properties menu and I could take saturation down a little bit. like that. So you could just do your adjustment that way. So that's it. That's how you could use this new tool in Photoshop, the adjustment brush tool. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.